Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all okay and I hope you're all having a um, good weekend so far. We've got a bank holiday here in the UK, I think it's this weekend. So if you've got a bank holiday, I hope you're all having a good weekend. Right, let's just shuffle and get the overall energy. I'm just going to take two cards to start with, see what comes out and then we'll go from there. Alright, okay, someone's got a choice. Someone's got decisions to make. Someone's planning something. Could be a fire sign. Let's just have one more. Right. Someone's on the move. Okay, they're going to make a decision about something. Um, I've got the death card there following the decision card. So we're going to have a look at that. Let's see. I think I'll have a look at this deck next. Okay. Just while I'm shuffling these though, if you would like a personal reading, if you just click on the title of this video, everything's in the description box and the free relationship report as well. Right, okay, so someone's making a choice. Um, this is someone who always thought the grass was greener. This is my grass is greener on the other side card. Always, always seems to mean that. They're very restless again. I would say this is a fire sign. Okay, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, could be rising or moon, doesn't necessarily have to mean their sun sign. They've got themselves comfortable where they are, um, but they've got wanderlust again, and they're actually going to let go of something. They're letting go of something, so I'm going to see what that's about. Okay, there's a lot of anxiety regarding this decision. I was feeling that they've got themselves comfortable somewhere. I can see them with, um, you know, one foot and one foot back. It's almost like they're thinking, oh, well, um, I could be worse off. You know, I'm better off than other people. Um, I'm quite comfortable here. Yeah, they're anxious. Someone's anxious about making a move. What's going to trigger this though, because the move is coming, I've got the death card, they are letting something go. Why? Why are they letting something go, please? Okay, they're bored. So I'm not quite sure, this is a past person of yours, but I'm not quite sure where they're going, or I'm, so I'm going to go into that deeper. They're bored. Okay, this is somebody who could be a bit of a player. Um, they are restless, they do get restless, they do have a bit of um, wanderlust. I would hazard a guess that they bit off more than they could chew where they've gone to and they are missing you here because we have got the desire card. So they're letting go of their situation they're in now because they're desiring something more. But the overall energy that came out First is that they have a tendency to do that. Start off with a great passion, whatever they do, you know, really excited, let's do this, let's move here, let's go there. And then once, you know, the routine sets in, they're off again, they're off again. But well, let's have a look, let's see what this person's up to. Let's see what they're up to, please. It's just, I'm going to take one more out of this deck and then I'm going to see what their thoughts and feelings are towards you at the moment just so I can get an idea of um, you know where this person's thinking of going yeah regret okay your person's got a lot of regrets I did was getting that that they feel that you know they possibly shouldn't have let you go um, I have a feeling it's you they're coming back into um, like I say, especially if they're fire sign, and especially this person's personality, they're easily bored. Okay, it's not somebody who stays in seven nights a week, you know, reading their books. This is somebody who's quite social, they've got a restless energy. Um, when things are going good, it's great, you're really good friends, you're having a fantastic time. But just as an example, it's the sort of person who can go out with their friends and... You know, they don't just not come back late, they just don't come back at all. Or they say they're going to meet you and they let you down. It's, it's that energy, that is this person's energy today, so you'll know if this is for you. They're regretting it though, they're feeling lonely where they are. Okay. I'm going to see what 
what they are telling other people at the moment as opposed how they really feel about you. So I'm going to see what they're telling other people, you know, the face that they're putting to the world about how they feel about you as opposed to what's really going on in their heart deep down. But they're definitely walking away. They're definitely walking away. Okay, they are telling other people that they, they are very happy with the choice that they've made. If they've gone into another relationship that you know of, they are telling people they are happy. Could be a Gemini as well. However, before I even pull the card for what they're really feeling, this is a choice card as well. I think they feel they've made the wrong choice. Yeah, it's quite a, a simple reading today. They've made the wrong choice. Um... Have they calmed down though? I don't know. This, you know, their energy is coming up with desire. They, you know, their energy is still one of, they, they find it easy to detach from people. You know, they just move on to the next thing quite quickly. They don't seem to have the, the energy of somebody who, I don't know, almost plans. They're just extremely impulsive. So they're telling people that they're quite happy where they are, that they made the right choice. Okay, so it's going to come as a shock to wherever they've gone to. I mean, they don't have to be with a third party. They could just be with family or hanging out with friends. But it's going to come as a shock to wherever they're leaving. Because as far as wherever they are at at the moment, the people they're connected into think it's all sunshine, kittens and rainbows. I just think your person's done this before a few times, so I think this is their character, to be honest. What are they telling? What are they feeling deep down, please? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. They do miss you. They, they're waiting for you. I think I've had this in the last few days. They're waiting for you. Somebody's waiting for you. It is almost as if then they've got an excuse to leave where they are. That's that's it. That's what I'm going to say. So it's quite straightforward today. They're waiting for you, I think, to come forward. So then they've got an excuse to get out of what they're doing now. Because the picture they're painting where they are is not one of somebody who's about to leave. But they are. Because in their energy, we've got the death card. So they're moving on. And preceding that is the two of wands. They're making a choice. They're making a choice. I think they're very anxious because I really seriously think today that someone who they're connected into has not got a clue what they're about to do. They're about to literally really shock somebody. Really shock somebody. How else are they feeling about you? What else have we got? Thoughts and feelings, please. Thoughts and feelings, please, about you today. Yeah, they've still got feelings for you. But they're waiting. This is a really slow energy. Two waiting cards here. Two waiting cards. They've got a lot of baggage. They'll be bringing a lot of baggage, I think, back in with them. But they do still have feelings for you. But they're just really taking their sweet time. It's almost like they don't want to make the first move. I think they're anxious about making the first move. It's almost I'm getting to say, and this is really, this is specific, so if this isn't your read, as I always say, just, just ignore me. I, I'm just getting someone who, to get out of a situation they're in now, is going to use you as their excuse. But not an excuse because they don't have feelings for you, but as an excuse because they haven't got the balls to turn around and say to where they are, look, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go back to, you know, my person before. I don't want to be with you. They haven't got the balls to do that. So they're waiting for you almost to come in so that they can say, oh, well, yeah, I've had to go back because of X, Y and Z. They don't want to take the responsibility for leaving because this is going to be a big shock. I don't feel that the person they're involved with will have a flying monkey's clue what your person's up to here. And you can probably tell I'm feeling this really short. They're just not going to have a clue. They're just not going to have a clue. 
All oh, right, okay, let me just see what your person would like to say to you. Then I'm going to get some advice for you, okay? Um, and then I'm going to just see what the best possible outcome at the moment will be. It is a slow energy, you see. Knight of Pentacles is not a fast mover, okay? It's slow. Um, because of your person's anxiety about many things, where they are, they're taking their time. But let's just see how they feel about you. Oh, wow. They love that they can be themselves around you. Yeah, that's it. They've put such a front on here. They're pretending to be somebody else, but they're, they're exhausted now. They can't do it anymore. They're battle weary. They're in a situation where they are wearing a mask. Okay, I think the mask they've been wearing in this situation is that they are stable, trustworthy and, you know, that they don't go out a lot. Someone in their environment has clipped their wings, okay. So all this fire energy that I was getting at the beginning, their impulsiveness, their woof for life, somebody is keeping it really in a container. I think this is making them... I don't think it's making them feel very well. They can't be themselves. They miss the fun. You know, back earlier in the reading, that spontaneity where you could go out and have a good time. And yeah, the, the flip side of this energy is it, it is somebody who is a bit impulsive. But they miss. They miss that they can't be themselves. Okay, let's just have a couple more. Okay, if you're thinking about this person, or oh, they're in your dreams, but if you're specifically thinking about this person or even manifesting back in, they can feel your energy. They can feel the love that you're sending them. They're feeling your thoughts. Okay, so if you have been doing this recently, or you're consistently doing this, this is what's moving this energy. This is what's moving the energy. It makes them anxious, they're scared, because... They've got to walk away from um, their little, well, not so much their perfect paradise, but somebody else thinks it is. They've got to walk away from this and it's going to, as I say, upset the apple cart. They're looking back at photographs of you. Somebody used to tell you you have beautiful eyes. Somebody used to tell you you have beautiful eyes or you've told them they have beautiful eyes. Somebody here's got very smiley eyes. You know when you can read someone with their eyes and they talk with their eyes, um, they've got twinkly, twinkly eyes. I can see really nice blue eyes actually. I don't know, I can just see some really twinkly blue eyes here. Let's have one more. You inspire them. You inspire them. They, that's their regret. You know, it's almost saying that you were their muse. You inspired this person. And they regret it. They regret what they've done. They're very anxious at the moment. Um, and they're just stuck in this energy, like I say, said earlier, because they don't want... Um, I suppose it is a bit of a coward energy. You know, they haven't got the balls, really, to... To, to end it unless you come in let's have some advice for you first please then I'll go to the um, I'll go to the outcome then yeah your prayers are being answered at the moment so whatever you are wishing for in your life it is coming to pass it will come to pass Keep going. You are going to get answers soon. They might be in a, a shape or a form that you don't expect, but you are going to get answers soon. So whatever you are wishing for or you're hoping for, stay positive. Let go of the circumstances. They don't matter. Let go of the negative thoughts. It's coming in. Your prayers are being answered. Let's just do one more. You're in a beautiful, yeah, this is really nice for you, this is your energy. You're in a really good energetic space at the moment for manifesting miracles. 
some of you I feel are really working on yourselves but part of working in yourselves is deciding what you will and won't accept in your life anymore and what this is saying is you are going to be what is coming into your life is an ideal match for you and what you deserve as a be you know you're beautiful amazing people what you deserve is coming to you so just just hang on in there just hang on in there but let's just get back to uh what your past person because they are still in this what's the best outcome please what are they going to do what's this waiting energy are they going to take any action at the moment are they going to take any action at the moment please no i don't see them okay this to me is very very clear they want to they've got two paths they've got decisions but they've painted this picture where they are now they're not about to upset their financial apple cart that's an, that's the crux of it that's what it is saying today they are in a comfortable enough position in the physical now they are feeling trapped they are feeling caged Okay, they could be connected with a woman or, or male even, who is a bit of a gold digger. But your person at the moment is not about to sacrifice their, their independence almost. But I don't feel they're independent, but they're not going to sacrifice where they're living, the money they've got coming in. They're more, they're still more interested in the finer things in life so at the moment this is going to end with whoever this is for today they will leave the situation they're in but they are taking their time and i still feel they're going to wait for you they're still going to wait for you or i'm getting to say to you there is going to be a moment where you bump into each other or there's an opportunity to talk about something it could have been a shared responsibility in the past and that is what will trigger this. But I don't physically see them at the moment coming forward, even though they miss you and they want you. They're, they're just, um, they're more concerned with their house, their job, their career, their finances, that kind of thing. So anyway i hope that's helped somebody today thank you so much for watching and thanks for all your likes your comments your subscribes i read every single one of them and as always i'm sending you so much love enjoy the rest of your weekend whatever you are whatever you're doing and if you've got a bank holiday tomorrow or tomorrow have a really good time personal readings everything's in the description box take good care speak to you soon bye